Mr. President, another existential threat whose solution has fallen victim to the United Nations paralysis in our common pursuit of a global, robust, and binding arms trade treaty. In the Caribbean, over 70% of the homicides are committed with firearms, a remarkable statistic for a region that produces not one single gun or bullet. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a largely unarmed constabulary and we have no standing army. Yet we struggle daily against an influx of illicit and untraceable firearms that poses a grave threat to our citizens' security and way of life. The producers of firearms, as well as the source and destination markets for illicit narcotics, can and must cooperate to restrict and regulate the international flow of small arms, light weapons, and ammunition. While we have failed in our initial attempt to forge an arms trade treaty, I call on this session of the General Assembly to redouble its efforts to negotiate such a binding agreement before we reconvene this debate next September.